Hey there, how's it going everybody? So in the near future, I'm gonna be putting together some system administration videos. Uh, and in those videos, I'll be using some virtual machines within VirtualBox. And in this video, we'll be looking at how we can create and restore snapshots within VirtualBox. So snapshots in VirtualBox allow us to save the state of our machines so that we can always restore the machine to the exact state in the future. So it's extremely powerful because it allows us to quickly roll back changes without needing to do a complete reinstall and configuration from scratch. So I've got my virtual box pulled up here and I currently have three virtual machines. So one is Ubuntu desktop and the other is Kali Linux and the last one here is another Ubuntu desktop machine. And that is a completely fresh install that we'll use to create some snapshots. And I do have uh, separate videos on installing these operating systems within virtual box if you'd like to see how that was done. Now, when we have one of these top virtual machines here selected, we can see that we have this snapshots tab over here to the right. So if we click on this, then you can see that I have a few snapshots here already. So I took an initial snapshot right after the initial installation and another snapshot after I installed uh, guest editions. And the last snapshot I took here was after I changed some network settings. Now, snapshots are going to allow me to go back and forth between these safe states. So if I was to screw something up while changing those network settings, then I could just revert back to the snapshot of the state of the machine right after I installed guest editions, and it would be like those network setting changes never happened. So I've got a fresh install of Ubuntu desktop here that doesn't have any snapshots of the machine yet. So all I've done on this machine so far is install the operating system and then powered down the machine. So I always like to create a snapshot of my virtual machines at this initial state, because if I screw something up and want to go back to the initial install state, then I don't want to have to reinstall the entire operating system from scratch. So it's a lot easier to just restore the snapshot of that initial installation state. So to take this snapshot, it's really as simple as selecting the virtual machine, opening up that snapshots tab, and then clicking this camera icon up here that says take a snapshot. So when we click that, it will ask us to give our snapshot a name and some details as to what the snapshot contains. So it's nice to be as detailed as possible, but I'm just going to fill this in here by saying initial install. And I'll do that both for the snapshot name and the details, and then I'll click OK. Now, once we've taken that snapshot, then we can revert this machine back to that initial state at any point by clicking on the snapshot. And then up here, we can choose this is restore the snapshot, this is delete, and this opens up details. And you can also right click on these as well, and you can see that we have restore, delete, and show details. So you can see here that our snapshot has this little red square here at the bottom right of this icon. And that just means that the snapshot was taking while the machine was offline. So if you take a snapshot of a running machine, then that icon will be different. And we'll take a look at that here in just a minute. But for now, let's go ahead and make a few changes to the fresh install of this virtual machine and take a few more snapshots. So I'm going to go ahead and fire this machine up. So now that we have this virtual machine running, I'm going to go ahead and maximize this. And you can see that we don't have guest editions installed, because if we had guest editions installed, then we'd be able to view this in full screen. So let's go ahead and install these really quick. So I'm going to go ahead and put in my password here. Now I showed these steps in a separate video where we walked through this installation, but basically we're just going to click on devices up here at the top and install guest edition CD. And now we just need to walk through these steps. I'm going to click run and then it's probably going to ask us for a password here. And now we'll just let this install. So once that's finished installing, I'll go ahead and hit enter there. And now I'll shut this computer down or this machine down for those changes to take effect. So I'll shut this down. Now, while I'm powered down here, we can see that it says that our current state is changed. Now, I'm going to go ahead and create a new snapshot at this point since we've installed guest editions. So, I'll create a new snapshot. And for the name and the description, I'll just say installed guest editions and, and copy this and paste this in here. So now we have two snapshots. So notice that it makes a little tree here. So basically this is saying that all the changes we made up to this point can be traced back down this tree. But we can also have separate branches of these trees. So for example, I'm gonna power up this machine again, and this time I'll install an Apache web server. 
So when the machine powers up here, we can see that it is in full screen. So we do have those guest editions installed. Um, so now I'm going to pull up my terminal once this desktop runs. So we'll go up here and search for the terminal. And we can tell if Apache is installed by typing in service Apache 2 status. And if we hit enter, then we can see that that wasn't found. So I'm going to install it by saying sudo apt get install Apache 2 and type in the sudo password. So now after that installation finished, uh, we can rerun that uh, status command again. And if we run that, then we can see that now Apache is installed. So now I'm going to power down the machine here real quick now that Apache is installed. So with that machine powered down, I'm going to create another snapshot here. And now for the name and for the description, I'm going to put uh, installed Apache for both of these. Okay, so now here's where we can do something a little interesting. So I'm gonna revert back to before I installed Apache. So I'm gonna restore this snapshot right after we installed guest additions. So to do that, I can just click on the snapshot and we can either restore by clicking this button here or we can right click and click restore. So then it asks you if you're sure. So I'll say yes, that I wanna to restore to that point. And now we can see that our current state is down here beside the Apache snapshot, but it's not derived from that snapshot. So if we spin up our machine now, so I'll just log back in here really fast. And then again, we'll go ahead and open up that terminal. So now, just like before, let's check and see if Apache is installed. So we'll say uh, service Apache 2 and then we'll do a status on that. So we can see that that isn't found because we restored the snapshot before we installed that. So now let's install Nginx. So we can install Nginx by saying sudo apt git install and Nginx and put in our password. And now we can check to make sure that was installed by typing service. Then this time we'll search for Nginx and then status and we can see that that was installed successfully. So now I'm gonna power down the machine here one more time. So now with that machine powered down, I'm gonna create a snapshot of this Nginx installation also, but there's one quick thing that I wanna show you here first. So you see how it says that our current state is changed? Well, if we try to restore a previous snapshot while our current state is changed, then it'll ask us if we want to first take a snapshot of that changed state. So to show you this, I'll go ahead and try to restore this earlier snapshot while we're in this changed state. So I will click on restore snapshot for this install guest additions. And you can see that since we're in that changed state, it pops up a warning here that says that you can create a snapshot of the current state first. And if we don't, then our changes will be lost forever. And it defaults to having this selected so that we will create that snapshot. Um, now, a lot of the time when I'm reverting back to a previous snapshot, it's usually because I want to get rid of the current state of my machine because I've messed something up. Uh, so usually I uncheck this um, so that I don't create a new snapshot. But in this case, I want to take that snapshot of the Nginx installation. So I'll go ahead and leave that uh, checked and I'll click restore. And so now it pops up the details of that snapshot that we want to create. Uh, so for this one, I'll just say installed engine X and for the description, there's a typo there, but that's not a big deal. And for the description, I will say the same thing. So now we have two snapshots branching off of our guest editions snapshot. Now one has Apache installed and the other one has Nginx installed. So we can see how useful this is. So instead of having multiple virtual machines all with different setups, we instead have one virtual machine that we can use to test multiple different setups. And switching back and forth between these is just as easy as clicking on a snapshot and clicking restore. So now that we've restored that snapshot, if we fire up our machine, then we'll have a machine that has Nginx installed and not Apache. Okay, so what are these snapshots actually saving about our machine state? So I have the VirtualBox documentation about snapshots pulled up here. So I'm gonna go ahead and maximize this. And I'm gonna scroll down here to snapshot contents. 
Now we can see here that there are basically three different bullet points as to what the snapshot contents contain. So in short, the snapshots save for the first bullet point here, they save a complete copy of the VM settings, including the hardware configuration. And the second bullet point here, um, and you can read these on your own, I'm just kind of paraphrasing. Um, the second bullet point basically says that it also saves the complete state of all virtual disk. And this basically means that all the changes that had been made to the disk will be reverted uh, back to the exact state of that snapshot. So any files that were created since the snapshot will disappear, files that were deleted will be restored, and files that were modified will be reverted to what they were. And this last bullet point here says that if you take a snapshot while the machine is running, the memory state of the machine is also saved. So when you restore the snapshot, the execution will resume at exactly the point when the snapshot was taken. So the memory state file can be as large as the memory size of the virtual machine itself. And it says here that uh, that can occupy a lot of disk space. So if you imagine you have a few gigs loaded into memory and save that machine state, then it's going to dump all of that into a file and that can be pretty large. So that last bullet point is why I generally try to avoid taking snapshots of machines while they're running. So my main use case for snapshots is to be able to go back and forth between changes and settings or back and forth between software installs and things like that. But the snapshot of a running machine could be useful if you really need it. So let's go ahead and see what that would look like. So I'll just log in to our machine here. So let's say that you're working within your virtual machine and you have a lot of work pulled up and for some reason you have to restart your host machine or something like that. So within this um, uh, document here, I'm just going to type in important document. Or we could even be in terminal and be halfway through uh, a bunch of commands and we have to shut down our virtual machine. So let's say that I want to save the exact state of this machine. So to do this, we can come up here to machine. And if we click on machine, then we can go to take snapshot. And now for the name and the description here, I'll just say working and working and then we'll click OK. So now that saved the state of our running machine. So now I'm going to power down this virtual machine here and just shut this down without saving anything. And now if I minimize this and open back up VirtualBox here, then we can see that under our Nginx snapshot, we have a working snapshot. And the icon is a green play button, which means that this machine was running when we took the snapshot. So if we restore this snapshot, and I'm just going to uncheck to create a new snapshot from the current state. So now we've restored that working snapshot. Now I'm going to uh, fire this machine back up. And you can see it comes back up with everything that we had open and our unsaved changes are still in our document. So that's pretty cool. But remember that the snapshots of these running machines do take up a lot more space. So I hardly ever use them. So I usually have time to power down before I take any snapshots that I need. But the feature is there if you need it. Okay, so now we can just power this down for the last time. Okay. So I think that is going to do it for this video. So I hope that you learned a lot about how you can use snapshots within your virtual machines. So when I first started using VirtualBox, I didn't really know how to properly use these snapshots. So I would always be scrapping entire machines when I made mistakes and reinstalling the entire operating system from scratch. But learning how to use these snapshots has really saved me a lot of time and hassle, and hopefully it'll do the same for you. But if you do have any questions about what we covered in this video, then feel free to ask in the comments section below and I'll do my best to answer those. And if you enjoy these tutorials and would like to support them, then there are several ways you can do that. The easiest way is to simply like the video and give it a thumbs up. And also it's a huge help to share these videos with anyone who you think would find them useful. And if you have the means, you can contribute through Patreon and there's a link to that page in the description section below. Be sure to subscribe for future videos and thank you all for watching.